In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory to Thee, our God, glory to Thee. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fill us all things. Treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen. Eternal Father, since thou hast given me for my inheritance the adorable face of thy divine Son, I offer that face to thee, and I beg thee, in exchange for this coin of infinite value, to forget the ingratitude of those souls who are consecrated to thee, and to pardon all poor sinners. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. O cosmic birther of all radiance and vibration, soften the ground of our being and carve out a space within us where your presence can abide. Fill us with your creativity so that we may be empowered to bear the fruit of your mission, that each of our actions bear fruit in accordance with our truest desire that you set in our hearts, and endow us with the wisdom produced and share what each being needs to grow and flourish. Untie the tangled threads of destiny that bind us as we release others from the entanglements of past mistakes. Do not let us be seduced by that which will divert us from our true purpose, but illuminate the opportunities of the present moment. For you are the ground, the fruitful vision, the birth, the power, and fulfillment, as all is gathered and made whole once again. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered, and was buried. The third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in one Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshiped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen. Saints, Feasts, and Readings for October the 12th, 2023. Saints and Feasts, Probus, Andronicus and Tarshish, martyrs of Tarsus, Simeon, the new theologian, Cosmas, the hymnographer, Bishop of Mauma, Domina, the martyr, Wilfred of York. Epistle reading, Philippians 1, 20 through 27. Brethren, I shall not be ashamed, be at all ashamed, but that with full courage now, as always, Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. If it is to be life in flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. Yet, which I shall choose, I cannot tell. I am hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. But to remain in flesh is more necessary on your account. Convinced of this, I know that I shall remain and continue with you all for your progress and joy in the faith so that in me you may have ample cause to go to glory in Christ. 
Jesus, because of my coming to you again, only let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ. Gospel reading Luke 9, 7 through 11. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard of all that was done by Jesus, and he was perplexed because it was said that some by some that John had been raised from the dead, by some that Elijah had appeared, and by others that one of the old prophets had risen. Herod said, John, I beheaded, but who is this about whom I hear such things? And he sought to see him. On their return, the apostles told him what they had done. And he took them aside and withdrew apart to a city called Bethsaida. When the crowds learned it, they followed him. And he welcomed them and spoke to them of the kingdom of God and cured those who had need of healing. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. Amen.